yeah. This is the life of a mega nerd, baby We doing things and we making it happen, right? From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes No one can stop us now cause we're keeping it nerdy, nice What's up YouTube, this is Chris with Sage Films and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to create an advanced uh, intro, call it a 4 intro, for basically your channel. It's not really, it can be for montages, but I really wouldn't. I'd use pretty much gameplay footage for your intro, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's just go and get started with the tour. Basically what you're going to do when you get in here, just insert, say, 3 video tracks. And this is going to be for uh, a whole bunch of different stuff. I'll just show you guys. So go to your media, media generator tab and go to noise texture and just bring in standard noise texture. And uh, just pretty much go down here. Go to progress and agree. Drag this out. And like whatever, about 10 seconds. You change it to... Here. Now we basically got that. It's just motion. Yes, so. Textures and animation. And now what I'm going to do, we're going to go to our text under the media generator tab still. Just bring down a text layer. Make this text layer, make it CH film in this case. And uh, leave, I pretty much leave it at that. And then it's going to change the font, which I'm going to change to Bank Gothic. And this is the standard Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare or the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 font. So I'll have the link for that in the description. And just close this out. And uh, as you can see, we, we can't see our text. So let's go ahead and our composition settings under our texture. Change it to dodge. And there we go. We've got our text. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to video effects. And let's just go ahead and click on glow. Drag this glow onto your text layer. Uh, drag the intensity and it's pretty high. Around 5 and we go percentage all the way up. And uh, make sure that it's uh, dark green. There we go. Maybe bring it down just a little bit. Maybe up just a little bit. It's kind of your, your preference, really. And now we got this. Basically, your name is like a moving green. So it, it, it makes for a pretty cool effect. So now we're going to do, we're just going to go to media generators and drag in another text layer. And after this, we're going to make this exactly the way we made our first. Sage Films, and just change, I changed the font and all these things, and now you can see. Basically, you only see one, but there's actually two there, so it's kind of layers. Makes it a little bit thicker, and it's gonna make it's gonna make the uh, effect a little bit better. So go back to the video effects, and just bring in your glow on the second text track. Intensity, not only too high, around one probably. And uh, glow percentage, not too high. Don't know, don't know, it's too weird, maybe point three eight somewhere on there. And uh, there we go. So basically we got, we got that in and it looks pretty good. Let's play. And it looks pretty good. But it still doesn't look all the useful a lot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go under our video effects, come down a little bit to TV simulator. If you guys have seen it, it, it looks like basically a, an old TV is viewing that. So it's kind of looks like an old TV with a tag. So we just bring this in and I just mess around with these. I, I normally bring the interlacing all the way up, it makes it look pretty good. Aperture grill. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with the aperture grill. It kind of moves everything around. Makes it like square, pixelated. It's not really too good. And this, you really don't need to mess with. I mean, it just it's lot. It'll like look weird. But if you want to, you can. If you bring it all the way up, let's just view it right there. I mean, it's got lot going through it. And if you want that, go right ahead. But I, I really wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, let's just, I'll, I'll just leave it and just close this out. And there we go. We've got our basic Call of Duty 4 lock intro already created. Now, notice I said at the beginning of this, this was an advance. Solely because we ain't stopping right here. So just go ahead and insert another video track. And this is basically for, you can stop there if you just want a basic intro. But if you want, like, a, maybe just a little bit more, this is really not really anything new. Maybe just insert another text layer. And make it about halfway. And just insert whatever text may like presents. And just bring the font down just a little bit. And then uh, just go back into your uh, edit generator media. 
Just change the placement a little bit under the CH panel. And then you fade this in a little bit and fade this out. Let's look at it now. And as you can see, our text is just a little plain. So basically what we're going to do is just going to go back and basically like our uh, first two text layers, we're just going to insert the glow and the t uh, TV simulation to make it look like the color of four text. There we go. Now, that's looking more like it, but we just gotta add our TV simulator. And it's definitely gonna look like it now. So, okay, let's play this from the beginning. So, yeah, there we go. We got our quality port intro. It's kind of basic, but not completely basic if you're new to Sony Vegas. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.